welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you are tuning in. Today, like you can tell, we are going to be getting this half sugar skull type, half slit throat look. This is a good one for Halloween because when you don't know what to call your costume, you let it speak for itself. Okay guys? Hope you enjoy! We are going to start with the neck wound. We're just going to take some regular toilet paper really luxury here and then we're going to be taking our liquid latex i am using the i don't know if you can see that the benign liquid latex and we're just going to do a light 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 layer on our neck so let that dry just a little bit and then you're going to put on your first piece of tissue you're going to want to tear it kind of thin for this first layer. I want the extra edges. Be prepared because this stuff stinks. dry a little bit in between layers. So, get all that latex off your fingers. I guarantee you got some on it. Okay, let that dry. We're going to start out with our Ben Nye in Clown White. We're just going to take any little eyeshadow brush will work. I'm just going to use this little bad boy. And you're just going to dip in and start painting your face. Okay, now that you have a good solid layer down, I would go in with your little ledge sponge and kind of blend that all together, make it one even coat. What we are going to do now is we're going to take our scissors and we are going to just cut straight across our slit. Be very, very careful. I am actually going to go to my bathroom so that I have some better angles to work with and I'll be right back. And cut. Now that I have cut the slit in there, you can see that this side kind of like came detached from my skin. So I'm just going to go back in with some liquid latex and plaster that back down on this part. And then we'll be good to go. I'm just going to put that bottom side back down where it was. I'm just going to go on the inside so that I can kind of just stick it back to my skin. Alright, so I am taking my tart. Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. And I am just going to put some in the lid. 
We're just going to dab that all over where we just painted. Now I'm going to take a straight flat brush. This is my JH43 from the Jack Hill Morphe Master Collection. And then I am just going to take a black eyeshadow. I'm actually using the Jack Hill Black Eyeshadow because it blends so well. This is called Abyss. So we're just going to start kind of high on this middle line. Draw straight down. In, and then we're going to start a little bit lower, down here lower on our nose, and then just come down and make those two lines meet at the bottom. Then we're just going to drag down at an angle for both those lines and make them meet. See that? And then you're just going to fill it in. I like to use this same flat brush, so I'm just going to dip back into that and fill in my nose. I'm actually going to be going in for the contour with that purple. This is royalty right there. And I'm just going to make a very nice contour line from this above my cheekbone area and down towards my lip. And then I'm going to go back in with that same black brush and I'm just going to trace that again. Using a little blender brush with like a flat head. This is the JH37 from that same collection. I'm just going to dab into that purple and go right underneath that line. Just kind of smoke it out. Going in with this teal color right here. This is the shade Pool Party. Alright, so we're just going to dip into that and go right underneath it. Okay, and then using a different brush, a much bigger blender brush, this is the JH36. We are just going to blend those two together a little bit more. Get rid of those harsh lines. Now that my neck is finished drying completely, we are going to go in and finish out this wound. I think I'm going to cut it up open a little bit more. I'm going to be using the Maron Pro Color Ring. It is the Bruise Ring. I'm going to be taking a little lip brush. This is actually from the Kylie Cosmetics Collection, Holiday Collection or something. Dipping into this dark, well, let's go with the light red first. This is Bloody Rose. We're going to go in with that light red. We're just going to smear that all over the inside of our cup. Alright, so just got some on my brush. Oh. Alright. And just start painting the inside. Alright, so once you kind of have that smeared all over, we are going to go in with that same Maron Bruise Wheel in the Burt Maroon, this deeper red shade. We're just going to dip into that with the exact same brush. And we're just going to smear that all over the inside. You don't really want to blend these two reds together. You want to use this darker red and the lighter red to create some depth. So we're just going to kind of push that in there sporadically.
think I am going to go in with some thick blood. I'm using the Ben Nye Thick Blood. Oh, God, yes. Look at that nastiness. We're going to dab into it with one of these little sponges. Okay, just dab right on in. I like to use an edge so that these sponges last longer because you can kind of just keep cutting the edge off as it gets nasty. All right. And then we're just going to go right on into that cut and start pushing the thick blood into the cut. Don't smear it around too much or it won't look real. So today we're using Vampire Blood by Walmart. Yeah, okay. So I'm actually just going to take this Vampire Blood very, very carefully. And I'm going to dump it right into the wound. So it kind of builds up. Oh, shit. I just jerked it on my shirt, which is not my shirt, like I said before. Shit. That is kind of the completed look for the neck wound. These uh, blood drips are going to start dripping soon. I just don't want to keep adding on and then get more all over my shirt. I'm a dumbass. That is what our neck wound is looking like right now. Coming back in with that same straight edge JH43 that I used earlier. I am just going to dip back into that same purple shade. And we are going to trace a big circle around our eye. We are going to go in with our big Belinda brush, the JH37. We're just going to kind of make that not so harsh. So a little bit of maybe blue. Whoops, on this brush. So we're just going to use that blue to blend it out. Taking my L'Oreal Paris Liquid Liner Intense. We are just going to start over here, draw a line into our lips, and then line it with teeth. I'm going to go ahead and put on some lipstick so that I can just line right over the lipstick. This is the lipstick I'm going to be using on both sides. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Dusty Noir, a beautiful deep purple. I'm just going to go ahead and do that all over. Alrighty, there we go. We have a purple lip on now. Let that dry for just a second. And then we're going to go back in with that liquid liner in the tents. And we're just going to outline our lips with the black liquid liner. Be very careful. Okay, now that you have lined the outside of your lipstick with the black, we're just going to go back in, draw some straight lines, pull some tape. Turn out so straight for me, but when you do it, you'll do it better. So I'm just going to go in with my Flathead JH43. Dip into, yeah, I'm going to dip into my purple in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And we are just going to start creating a wave. Now that you have all those little lines painted on for your spider wheel, I'm going to go in with the black first and just trace the, I'm thinking the left side of all my lines. So we're just going to start here. So next I think I'm going to go in with my little stars. 
cut me off, but it has a little star stamp on it. I'm just going to stamp a few little stars. Ridiculous. Okay, so now we are going to go in with our chin. I am just going to dip right into the purple with my JH43, my sharp brush. And I'm just going to draw a very nice chin line. Make her flattering, you know what I mean? And then we're going to take our blender brush, dip into the purple, and blend that out. some sequins or some glitter or something and go around your eye but since I have work in an hour I don't think I'm going to I think I'm just going to beat this out oh I think it's a cute this is I don't know if you guys can see that this is what I have all my brushes in right now and it's a little skull cup I love it oh, I love it Alrighty guys, so this is the completed look. It was super easy, whether you were tuning in for both halves, the half skull or the throat cut. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful and entertaining. Um, please remember to subscribe and like and comment on this video once you've watched it. I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. you're looking at this video and you're like, I just really cannot do this myself, I'm just not going to make up, you know, whatever it is, then hit me up. I am actually going to be doing a few of like my friends and stuff like that to make up for Halloween and I could definitely add you to that list.